A15 and 5. Let's support the pawn. Um, let's capture. Let's just push the pawn so we can get the knight out so this pawn can't bother it. Let's capture the knight. Let's bring the knight out. Develop the bishop. King safety. Let's take. Double the pawns. Let's attack the bishop. Wants the pawns to come back in line. You know, I don't really have a problem with it at all, in the slightest. Could just leave it there. Could do something else with the queen, maybe. Coming across here, attacking this pawn. Comes down to defend. Yeah, I'm going to do something different. Just bring the queen here, attacking this pawn. Making space towards his king area. I think the queen might just come here just to get into the action. Or there, whichever. Okay, so our queen doesn't have any protection on at the moment. So we have to be mindful of that. Might be coming with some tricks or something or the other. In order to get his pawn back in line. So if he pushes down we take, his pawn gets in line. So we could push the pawn onto the queen to say, well, what is it that you're doing? And if we took the bishop, his pawn takes. If we push the pawn, attacking the pawn. Does he take, take? Bishop takes, queen takes. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece is always going to be an interesting one. So we'll attack with the pawn. All right, so the queen is here. There's nothing happening here at the moment. Got space to come down. Rook opposite the queen. Rook attacking the bishop, but there's nothing doing there really. What else can we do? Push. We get the rook into the middle. Push. I don't think we should be pushing them pawns though. Or shall we just try and hit this bishop? Then he's just going to push this there. Let's push this pawn. Yeah. Okay. So we could hit the bishop with the pawn. Bishop has to move. So, but it doesn't have to. He could stay there and get taken. But he moves back one. But then we have to sit, babysit in the pawn. And he could get a two on one by moving here. And we don't have anything supporting that. So I think we'll hang fire on that one. What else do we have? Queen is still here. So... We get the rook opposite the queen, and if we did do something like that takes, then the queen's under pressure. Might be something as simple as that. Let's just do that. Okay, they moved a bit swift there. All right, so supporting the pawn. But still, we can still attack the pawn. If we attack the pawn, his queen can take this pawn. So I feel like my queen's going to get trapped at some point. Maybe I need to start mobilising a bit. And da -da -da. It doesn't look too juicy, does it? Could attack, double our pawns, start hitting their king. No, let's just save that. I'm going to bring the queen here. 
if the queen decides to move for some strange reason we've got a free pawn but i think he's going to look to tr probably champion these pawns pushing down isn't it okay let's um go for the opposite rook situation it does capture queen can take i think fairly okay he's going a bit crazy now so if they're moving that fast they must have something sewn up has it got a back ranker on me looking to probably come here and then we can swing the queen here but then it's going to have two pieces protecting anyway so not sure get the queen here give the king a flight square push push this queen doesn't have any support on so we could push this pawn onto the pawn if he did forget himself and take we'll get the queen for free so i'm actually going to push onto the pawn see if they forget themselves push go on take it take it no they're taking too long So at least for now we've managed to keep that double pawn structure thing there we're getting closer towards the end game that might benefit us oh maybe not right so i think we have to be careful here we're probably going to end up going here aren't we if we take queen takes queen takes rook takes rook puts a check on the king king comes here Rook comes across. This rook comes back to defend. Go and attack this pawn. It looks like it might work out for us. Because if this rook did come down towards them, I think we're going to go simple. Just keep this baby simple. But it doesn't even take with the queen after all that calculation. Hit the pawn again, but this time he just pushes the pawn. Hmm. Okay, let's go up for this pawn. Look to come here. Down. We'll have a two on one. But I think he's just going to stay on this file, isn't he? Maybe. Or is he going to look to double up and attack here? I think this is the crucial stage now, isn't it? Does he go for an attack on my king area whilst my rook is looking to be... Yeah, they are. It's going for a little check rooney If we blocked it off, he's not going to take those. He's, um, he's not going to take. Let's go here. going back yeah all right so if we take this comes back down for a back ranker gets the yeah okay so if we take comes down for the we go up he takes he's got a check on the king we move the king he has to come and protect this area so he might stay down there or he's on a dark square so he can't get into in front of our king because we're looking to touch here so his rook's probably hmm I think we can do that you know let's go here and get ready to move then he takes and it looks like we're making inroads towards his king area with this, yeah, so we'll go here. Like we said, it doesn't look like his queen can come in front of ours. So then we do have a bit of a situation. This rook can come here because he's got the support of his um, 
king. So that kind of messes it up a bit. Would have been nice if we could get here with a check, but yeah, so that's all he needs to do. What do I do from there? Ouch. Squeeze here for a potential mate threat thing, but then all he has to do is drop here, doesn't he? Did that flash like he'd left the game? Yeah, and if I go there, he can just take the pawn with the queen as well. Yeah, look. Damn. Yeah, if I go here, he just takes the pawn, puts a check on my king. When I move the king, it's going to dart square. Maybe he comes up for the rook, but that's going to be too late to the party. So he comes in front of our queen. That's the only thing that he could do, isn't it? Must be something better. What about rook taking, king takes? Yeah, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Oh, that's a bit unlucky. It's a bit unlucky. Yeah, I think I'm dead meat now. We're going to attempt to go for it anyway. Obviously, oh, right, that's fine. Might be worse for them doing that, might it? I think that's a lion's den thing, isn't it? Oh no, he's got some repetit. He's got some repet. Let's go here. Maybe we can hide here when he goes here. But then he's protecting the pawn anyway, isn't he? Yeah, nice, good, good work. So he's got a repet. So it's a draw. Well played. Doesn't have to be a draw though, because I could just bring my queen here, but am I happy with that? My rook is more, it looks like it's got a bit more oomph. So we could go for an exchange, couldn't we not? Or maybe not, because if we go here, he takes, or maybe the king takes, yeah. Then his rook's coming down here for this pawn, we take. Then he starts pushing his pawn down. We might win, you know. He might win that. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I still got the checks. What's the deal? But he can no longer get down. If we push this here. Push the block. We don't have any mate for it, so. Let's attack him again. Looks like it's a draw. Yeah, it's flashed a draw. Well played. Damn, I just couldn't find a way in. Nice one.